you can use multiple columns inside of a text or paragraph box very easily. Now over here on the right hand side I want to show you a couple things up here. Here's our object properties and then down below here's a text properties dialog box and this shows you all of your text properties. Now to be fair these both do the same thing. I mean you can access both things the same way. I normally go to the, to the object properties dialog box and in here we have our character and our paragraph and the frame. Click on frame and there is your columns. So I can make this a two column piece and there it is as two columns with the gutter in between. You can control the same thing from the text properties panel here. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. There's our frame section and there's the two columns right there. So you can do that. Or if you want to get real fancy on this, go up here to the text menu and columns and it brings up a fancier column setting dialog box. And here you can adjust the width exactly and you can adjust the gutter size. The gutter is your space between your columns. Just click in here and adjust that so you can change that spacing between the columns. You also can have your columns the same width which is usual or you can have them different widths if you want to. I've seen you know, where you may have a, a wide column and then a thin, thin column. You can maintain the current frame width or automatically adjust the frame to match as well and you can preview while you are doing it and see how it looks. And of course you can adjust the number of columns up here. Let's go back to one column and choose OK. So easy to, easy to work with your columns. Again, lots of places to find this. I normally go to Object Properties, click on that button right there and you can find it right in here. And if you want to have a lot more control, text and columns or this little button right there does the same thing. Little little three dot button brings up that fancier dialog box. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.